This is a video I really didn't think I was going to make. I'm on my inside computer right now, and I ran into this issue, and it has direct implications with Microsoft Recall, specifically how Microsoft assured us that it wouldn't infiltrate regular systems that was only for like an AI ARM-based systems with the Recall or Copilot Plus chips. I can say definitively today that was incorrect. Recall is getting installed on every single system in 24H2, more so, and this is really, really important. It is a dependency in File Explorer. That should alarm a lot of people, and I wanted to walk you through all the things that you need to do to disable it, but also the future of Windows and how we think about Windows, because it's really important that one, if you continue using Windows in 24H2 and, and beyond, you disabled the recall service. But I just want to show you the findings, and then you can come to whatever conclusion you want to come to, as I'm just more concerned with developing tool and making your Windows experience as good as it possibly can be. So first off, What's happening? Well, I have a like a micro win is what I call it, but essentially it's just the Windows deployment services and it strips out a lot of the junk like TikTok and all these other garbage apps that get installed on your system when you first boot it up. And what happened was in the new update with the new ISO, as soon as users started putting in, it, I started seeing these error reports going, hey, uh, why is my Explorer reverted back to here? And started going through and go, hey, can you give me the version? Go through again. And there's something that really kind of crazy pops up. The co-pilot removal is breaking new Explorer tabs. Uh, this is actually in the NT Lite change log as well. So the NT Lite team uh, in their change log reported this first. And then if you continue scrolling down, I, I copy a lot of those same things from whether it's NT Lite or other, other places. I'm always looking to have the most tight, uh, no nonsense base starting point for Windows. Well, we started looking through and what we found was we have to leave the actual component there and then disable it after uh, the user comes into the computer and that will leave the folder or the file explorer the same way. Now to kind of showcase this, uh, this is a new uh, update that we're doing specifically big shout out to Coding Wonders for, for working so hard on making these streamlined and also adding a lot more functionality. We won't have to actually uh, select your own ISO anymore. You could actually just get it automatically from Microsoft.com, which is great. And what we're doing is just a couple little bug fixes. One thing was adding remote desktop and uh, fixing, like, obviously, no longer messes up the file explorer look in 24H2. Uh, so you can see he left a bunch of samples here. But the big thing is I want to tie you to the code, things we had to do in the file change. Right here is, is when this line kind of came in. And, and basically what's happening in this function is we're just saying, hey, make sure we don't strip out like NFS or search engine, remote desktop. Those, th those features are needed and also not recall because those components are a mandatory necessity for the new file explorer with tabs in 24H2. Funny thing is it used to not be in 23H2. So... That's a, a very interesting tidbit. What exactly is Microsoft doing on that back end? Um, the rest of this, pretty standard. Uh, and, and getting a lot of this just kind of fixing, hey, if it's not installing on C drive and some other really good bug fixes that a couple people ran into. But for the most part, MicroWin is in a fantastic state. It's officially the first year anniversary since we released that functionality from Conti and Coding Wonders has been working really hard on it. I've occasionally stepped in, I think helped streamline it in a big PR here about a month or two ago. And Coding Wonders just kind of picked it up and really just gone wild with it. It was been great. But I wanted to make this video just saying, hey, this is happening in Windows. Every user should know about it. And the thing that I'm more worried about is what about all the users that don't hear about it? This recall service will be enabled. It is integrated into your file explorer and is actively part of it. What it's doing in the background is probably the biggest and also the scariest question. 